it's right about four times out of four. Is this like, um, do you have other means of transportation or is this like one of your primary? Yes. Primary. Uh, where is the primary destination that the shuttle takes you? Okay. Uh, how important is are the shuttle services to you? It's important because we get from back and forth. People who depend on this to get them at a certain place at a certain time. Say somebody's looking for a job like me. I don't work, so I need this to get around wow. town for different interviews and stuff. We are a family of six, well plus seven. Oh, so doctor's appointments, or when the car is sold, or anything like that, yeah, that would be very, very, very grateful. I am very thankful, yes. We are very thankful. <laughs> what do you use the bus for? Well, uh, for the transportation, when I can't uh, get, uh, you know, nobody else to take me. Uh, but mainly transportation, going back and forth to my uh, appointment, uh, department of labor, uh, job appointment, things like that. I have to get to the ESU every day from basically Bright Street. So, and I don't have another ride to get there. So basically, this is what I'm going to be getting to school. The reason why they should keep running the shuttle because the summer is coming up, the kids come here out of school, maybe the parents want to take their kids on like a little trip, like to the mall, to the fun factory, to the thing, you know, just to enjoy the summer because some single parents now are struggling. Over the 30 years that I've worked here with possibly, you know, thousands of people, uh, there are people who can have such simple improvements to their lives if they only had a way to get to a job, to get to uh, appointments for a sick child, to get to something as vital as a prescription. If you can't get a prescription for your illness because you can't get there, then your illness can take over what's going on with your life. People who are elderly need to be able to get to things as simple as groceries. We have elderly people in our community living very minimal lives because they don't have a way to get to the needs that they have and they go, you know, without food without medicine, and all of that could be changed with readily accessible transportation. Well, yes, I, I think we have a need. Of course, uh, as has been told before, we're the only metropolitan city in Georgia that does not have a transportation system. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is when a company is looking to go to a certain city, uh, they want to make sure people have the transportation to get to and from work. I can tell you right now, uh, to hear people talk about how they need to get to the grocery stores, they sometimes have to call somebody to take them to the grocery stores or take them to the doctor's office or take them to maybe to get some shoes or get some different things they might need to do. We have uh, a lot of people without vehicles, so they have to pay somebody to take them, and sometimes they can't make it. Sometimes the weather is bad, so they can't go that way as well. We have a lot of elderly people too who would like to go as well but they have to send somebody else or wait for somebody to take them. One senior citizen was telling me that she had to pay someone to take her and she pays from 20 to $30 a week for someone to come take her to get her medication, to take her to Walmart, to take her to the grocery store. When you with the shuttle she can go free. Also with the shuttle, she says that the people that she have to pay the twenty to thirty dollars with, sometimes they'll say, "I don't have time to take you." Then she got to reschedule her appointments to do anything that she have to do. There's people who want to go to church; they don't have a way to go to church. There's people who want to go. Let's say go visit your family on the weekend. They don't have a way to go. Don't leave our wild adventure. If we had a shuttle, look how many people could use the transportation getting to and for the wild adventure, and et cetera. There's so many things that we could use the shuttle for. Even here to the library, we could use the shuttle for coming here. Absolutely, Valdosta is a metro area and public transit would be a real plus uh, for our business community, as well as for the students, for the young professionals, who now live in our community who truly would pre pre uh, uh, prefer not to have to own a vehicle. Um, it's also very important for those who 
aren't able to afford transportation so they can get to and from their jobs uh, and to appointments, medical appointments and uh, job interviews uh, to the Georgia Department of Labor. Yes, it, it's seriously important. Well, we have found this to be a very, very great um, resource here in the community for individuals or persons that are needing transportation um, to and from different locations such as the Goodwill Career Center, the Georgia Department of Labor, or some of the other um, organizations here in the community. We've, uh, we've seen an influx of clients um, coming to our Career Center simply because they have that, that complimentary shuttle service available and it's just an amazing thing. We need it for this area. Um, it's going to help with economic development. We're saying to those in need that you are important to us, that we care about you, that you matter, and that we are going to, as a city, stand behind you and do what we can to make sure that you have the means necessary to get around.